Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. Right here back at the Freedom Stand, contemplating Rio Gate. Folks, we still don't know. Back at the scene of the crime. So I had some interesting thoughts that I'd like to share with the rest of the class. You know, teachers today, you know, after watching this debate online, that they basically they want to take all control away from the parent. And they want the government to be in charge of the child. Now, when last I checked, we're not living in communist China, but, you know, to be fair, they probably get a better education in China than we do here. I've seen video of kids in the classroom in China, some of which as young as six years old, are learning reading, writing, their nation's ideology, and, and how to actually do something beyond school instead of the school-to-prison pipeline like we have here. I've also seen them learning to field strip weapons in class, okay? This is a thing that's kind of important. So when you send little Bobby or Susie or little Timmy fuckface to school every day, you count on the fact that teacher is going to take your values that you have wanting instilled in your child under consideration. This assumption is false. They have their own agenda that they're indoctrinating your child with. Some of it's the school's agenda, some of it's their agenda. So how do we fix all this? Well, for starters, take care of your own fucking kids. Teach them right from wrong growing up, right? In one generation, right, let's say from my dad's generation to mine, we were taught feelings were crap and that your feelings don't matter. And I think that needs to be established early on. They do matter, but they don't, okay? Instead of cry closets, we need to teach young men that hard men like strong drink in the company of a soft woman, okay? That's just my opinion, and as far as I'm concerned, it's God's truth, because that's the way life is. Hard men like strong drink in the company of a soft woman. Plain facts. Teaching children that their geometry is incorrect for their body, even though they're clearly a little boy or a little girl, is not something I think the teacher should have jurisdiction over. I think that's mom and dad territory, right? I also think that school shouldn't be talking to your kids about sex. Teachers are fucking nasty. Especially nowadays, man, with all this liberal shit going on. Like, they're just fucking, they're programmed to turn everybody gay like a vampire or some shit. I don't know what their damage is. But this shit's wrong. It's got to stop. Okay? I don't think your kids should be going to school to learn useless information and only learning the metric system to deal in dime bags and tenths of a point. Okay? They need to fit a plan according to more or less what the child needs to develop into a good adult. Now, I'm not a big fan of the whole Bible in schools thing because I grew up with that shit and I don't agree with it, but a lot of people disagree with me on that and say that's probably a good step for a moral foundation, which it did give me, to be fair about it, okay? I think we should stop letting the Brady campaign use teachers as, as a means to backdoor gun control by, by sensationalizing school shootings, which are actually on the downfall and on the decline, but the, the viewership in the news is way up on it, okay? That's where that communist shit starts is in fucking grade school, or in kindergarten, or even before kindergarten. When you, when you put your kid in front of the idiot box and you turn on Disney or the Sesame Street, it turns your little kid into a fucking mongoloid when they grow up. Sorry, not sorry. I had to say it. Okay, you want to teach your kid some valuable skills in life, teach them how to deal with a bully, teach them how to win a fist fight, teach them to be good human beings when they grow up. You know, these are all things to consider. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a parent, even though I probably have kids somewhere. You know, telling this critical race shit in the schools is just fucking absurd. The idea that slavery somehow has affected your life negatively in the year of our Lord 2023 is horseshit. 
unless you come from a third world country where you were sold as a sex slave to the United States, you have no room to fucking talk about what injustice is. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. I grew up 20 years ago in school. Okay? And they're teaching all the black and the brown students that I'm the devil because I'm white and therefore they need to do something about me. Now imagine if I spun that the other way around and said, you're the devil because you're black or brown and I'm going to do something about you. Do you think they would be responsive to that idea? I don't. I don't delve into the race things for reasons because it's just not productive, although in this instance I believe it to be productive. You know, some basic history about America is not taught anymore. They teach about slavery and bondage, right? Not the kind of bondage that teacher does with the other male aide in the classroom, okay? Like Mr. Slave and Mr. Garrison. Hmm? They teach about the kind that, you know, like in Roots with the Kunta Kinte stuff, which is fine because it's part of history, but they're teaching it as an applicable lesson today, which I think is irreprehensible. And I'll tell you why. Some of my ancestors were probably slaves when they came to this country as Irish, German, or Italian fucking immigrants. Okay? That happened long before the black slave trade was a thing. All right? Just throwing it out there. So for people to kind of lecture me on what my thinking is and why my thinking is wrong, here's kind of my rebuttal to that. If you don't like it, you can eat my fucking shorts. And the entire public education system, which, by the way, I'm a product of, that's what made me a hardened fucking violent psychopath is going to public school and worried about getting stabbed every day by the black and the brown students who didn't like me and who were in a gang. I think until we fix these problems, you're going to have a brain-damaged generation of kids that are too fucking soft to do shit about it. So, that's my thoughts. Stay with a grain of salt, and if you don't like it, eat my shorts. And as always, have a fantastic Wednesday.